Elon Musk is has uh, been accused by his, a masseuse of showing his dick. So let me read that part. She was a SpaceX flight attendant. She uh, He exposed himself during a massage. So he has denied this, but a sexual assault claim from a fl- former flight attendant whom the company reportedly paid $250,000 as part of a severance agreement in 2018. Musk tweeted about the story last Thursday after it broke, claiming that the story should be viewed through a political lens. <laughs> sure. The attendant worked on a contract basis in the cabin crew for SpaceX's corporate jet fleet. She accused Musk of exposing his erect penis to her, rubbing her leg without consent, and offering to buy her a horse in exchange for an erotic massage, according to Business Insider. <laughs> I'm... Oh, God. Okay. I mean, there's a joke here to be had that you show a woman your penis. You really don't want to buy her a horse, do you? Because the horse's dick going to be bigger than yours. If it's a male horse. (sighs) It's like, how about you don't show me your dick and you buy me a horse? How's that deal sound? Because you're a billionaire and you can afford a horse. A declaration signed by the flight attendant's friend detailed the incident, which reportedly took place in 2016. Email correspondence and other records, which the friend provided to Business Insider, reportedly corroborate the claims. The attendant reportedly told her friend that SpaceX encouraged her to get licensed as a masseuse. Okay, so she was just your regular old flight attendant whose job it is to keep you safe in the event of an emergency and to serve things to you in flight to cover for the fact that she's really there to save your life in case of an emergency because, you know, every once in a while a plane could crash. So, but look over here, I'm serving peanuts. Let's have fun and hope that that doesn't happen on this flight. So SpaceX, his flight company or whatnot said to her, you, you, you know what you should do in addition to these great skills you have pointing out where the inflatable life raft is, you should learn how to be a masseuse. I mean, that is so disgusting. He should have a male masseuse, a separate person on the flight. And that, do you know what I mean? Every perv should have a male masseuse. And if you get hard and try to show the masseuse your dick, the male masseuse will break your dick off again. And then we're going to send it on a rocket to space. I know I sound very aggro today. And you know, I might be. I might be. Uh, So she said Musk propositioned her during one such massage. Musk denied the sexual claims in a brief statement to Business Insider, insisting there is a lot more to this story. Mm -hmm. If I were inclined to engage in sexual harassment, this is unlikely to be the first time in my entire 30-year career that it comes to light, he wrote. Oh, see, he's, they tell on themselves. Didn't I tell you if this, this is not the first woman he has done this to. And he's basically saying it, but he's saying it in a way to defend himself. Well, if I, had a, if I did do this kind of sexual harassment, then that would, you know, it would unlikely be my first time doing it. I'd be a serial sexual assaulter. And in 30 years, no one's accused me of it but her. Hi, I'm stand-up comedian and sex symbol Tig Notaro. <laughs> and I'm actor and writer Cheryl Hines. Before Cheryl and I got into the big business of podcasting together, <laughs> we were just simply friends. And we're still friends. But now we talk about a different documentary every week on our podcast, Tig and Cheryl, True Story. We've covered everything from true crime to Britney Spears to my octopus teacher. <laughs> I'm just laughing because that my octopus teacher was crazy. <laughs> I found it more interesting that his son now had a stepmother and it was an octopus. <laughs> we also, Cheryl, tell stories, go on tangents, and generally make our sides hurt laughing at each other. So whether you love documentaries or just want to hear us slowly lose our minds, check out Tig and Cheryl True Story wherever you get your podcasts. All right, cool. <laughs> Well, I don't know what kind of NDAs you had. And also, people don't like to come forward. I know it from experience. It sucks. Your life gets shitty. 
and the person you accuse, most times their life does not get shitty. Most times. Harvey Weinstein's in prison, right? We got him. Cosby was in prison for a bit, but he's out. So he's telling on himself by saying, because if it was just this woman, he wouldn't be so freaked out. And he'd be like, you know what? I'm so embarrassed to say I was in a breakup and I got a massage and I'm so embarrassed, but I sometimes get hard during a massage. And I, he could just lie and say, I didn't show her my dick. It was, it was exposed because, you know, I had to, I was face up with a towel over it. And, you know, you could see that it got, you know, stiff. You know, I pitched a tent, but I did not touch her leg. I mean, everyone believes men over women anyway. Everyone would believe him. And guys would be like, oh, like you haven't gone hard during a massage. That's what they'd say to women on Twitter. And we'd be like, actually, no, we haven't because we have a different anatomy. Um, so he know this is this is why, and I I bet this will come out. Mark my words, this is why he wanted to buy Twitter. Mark my fucking words. Because he knew that this would begin a landslide of other women coming forward. You know, Gloria Allred's probably somewhere getting the bat signal, getting all excited. She got a bunch of new women to represent. And it would be all over Twitter and people would be trashing him, harassing him, spreading information about it in the mostly free marketplace that is Twitter. And he wanted to buy it and own it and crack down on it. I bet a hundred percent. So I guess what's going on is uh, he became a Republican a few days ago. I keep seeing people say that. That So I guess he, I'm going to read this other article. So um, basically the flight attendant said to her friend that Musk asked her to come to his private room during a 2016 flight for a full body massage. I mean, how big is this plane? The attendant reportedly found Musk completely naked except for a sheet covering the lower half of his body. I mean, that's, I mean, it's pretty normal for a massage. I don't know what she agreed to, but he reportedly exposed himself to her during the massage, touched her and urged her to do more in exchange for a horse. <laughs> okay. She declined. The attendant found her work with SpaceX beginning to dry up after the incident. And in 2018, she contacted a California employment attorney and sent a complaint to the company's human resources department detailing the episode. SpaceX resolved the complaint after a session involving a mediator and Musk himself. The matter never reached a court of law, as these things never fucking do. In November 2018, Musk and SpaceX and the attendant entered into a severance agreement granting the attendant twenty five. $250,000 in exchange for a promise not to sue. That is chump change for a billionaire. She should have received $10 million. You, say, you buy me a house. Never mind a horse. Buy me a house. Okay? H-O-U-S-E. Buy me a house. Give me $10 million. And give me, I don't know, stock options and Teslas. And then I'll shut up. And then put in a clause that I'm allowed to talk in 20 years. The agreement also included non-disclosure and non-disparagement clauses, barring the attendant from disclosing any information about Musk and his business. The SpaceX CEO said he would vote Republican in the coming midterm elections and attacked President Joe Biden, saying the real president is whoever controls the teleprompter. Oh, God. Okay, so that's what he said about being a Republican. So I don't know how this woman decided to speak out despite having signed this agreement. I don't know what this is costing her. I'm really hoping, like I am convinced he sexually harassed somebody, if not multiple people. I'm really hoping this woman isn't lying or this isn't some weird setup because it will just discredit so many actual survivors and he'll get to be a martyr. So I really hope, I, I hope, I'm sorry it happened to her, but I hope it's true, you know? So 
So this is what uh, somebody else posted. So Musk knew that this story was dropping. Um, Historically, he's donated to both Democrats and Republicans in November 2020. And then uh, Business Insider journalist contacts him for a comment on a sexual harassment piece before a publication, which was 9 a.m. May 18th. Right after that, Elon quickly starts tweeting about how political attacks are coming and it's the woke leftists' fault. He literally started tweeting this right after being contacted by the source. Then a business insider piece comes out, and now he's trying to convince everyone it's politically motivated and to inoculate himself from the scandal. So there we go. I assume more things will be coming down the pike. We'll see. Honestly, I thought they would have come out a little sooner. Like, usually it's like kind of the damn breaks, and within 24 hours, a bunch of people say things. Um, but we'll see what happens. 